Welcome back to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming, where we are the voices inside your head. I'm Jonas. TNT Dynamite. Yep. <laughs> Explosive one. I'm. Uh, we're playing Super Soldier uh, Destroyer. Yeah, dude. It's a shapeshifting detective. All right, All right, we're about to hit the next chapter. Uh, yeah, I guess so, man. Or actually, you might go talk to the chief. I want to talk to the chief before we hit. Okay, next I'm chapter. cool with that. Uh, so let's visit the chief real quick. And to see what last time on Rain says he tried to save the girl. Oh, okay. Okay, that's good. Absolve him. Did look a bit like that on the video. He managed to grab her ankle as she went over, but he just didn't have the strength to hold her. Still, he kept pretty quiet about that, didn't he? Oh, so he absolved them. So he did try to save her. Yeah, let's say that. All right. How did they even get in that position, Sal? That's the question you should be asking. Sure, he tried to save her, but, but, but did he? Alright. Alright, so let's see, what do we know? Range to the suspect. No corroborated alibi. Bromman Castle has one. Lexi Taylor doesn't. I've got my search back on Rain, or Petrovsky, as we should call him. He's got priors that you're looking into. We already told you that. Yeah, we Rain met Ellis that. when he was touting for work. He gets around quickly. You found another connection between Zack and Ellis. Selling Poe's pendant in exchange for nude photos. Zack has a thing about this, doesn't he? Oh. Alice knows Violet because of the Free Radio Project. Violet's been doing some web searches on Ellis. You think that's a jealous streak. I think it's a sign of the times. You've still not accepted my friend request, have you? Jealous. Ellis really. thinks Violet doesn't like her very much. I'm not sure I like you very much. Where's the proof? Violet's just admitted being at the crime scene last night with Zack. Yep. It's not looking good for Zack now. No, it's not. No, Oscar's in the clear. He was playing football last night. He said that, like that Dorota had a wedding dress in her closet. Not many people would know that. Yeah, but we know. I think you've narrowed it down to Zach, Rain, and Lexi. That's just my professional opinion, mind you. Feel free to ignore the person who hired you. Rain and Lexi. That's it. All right. So, Wait, do we six? Do we what? Do we suspect Lexi at all? No. I mean, he suspects them because he's the law and he doesn't believe in the travelers, but we believe in travelers and his family. Okay. Um. So I was just thinking about it and I was like, Zach was, he was messing around with Dorota. Right. Dorota ends up dead. Right. Zach has been trying to mess around with Ellis. Ellis ends up dead. His girlfriend is Violet. Zach is in the redheads. Whoever the whatever other redhead he's inter interested in ends up dead. So his girlfriend Violet is jealous and kills all his other booty calls. Dude, I'm, I'm just saying. All right. All right. All right. All right. Uh, yeah. Next chapter. Let's go. Let's go. It's now ten o'clock. Here's your August update. Investigations deepen into last night's murder of 21-year-old Dorota Shaw. Miss Shaw, a talented cellist who had recently been granted a place at Juilliard, was found strangled at her home last night. With the murderer still oh, at large, you. Chief DuPont has urged residents to remain calm and stresses there is almost no chance of anyone else being harmed. Alice, if you're listening, let me know you're okay. Love you, boo. In other news, a handful of August residents have reported seeing strange lights in the sky earlier this evening. The lights, which witnesses describe as searingly bright, were spotted over the east edge of town, past the fire station. Have you seen any strange lights? Or for that matter, little green men? Let me know. Dun, dun, dun. That's 10 o'clock with Poe. <laughs> what a funny fellow. All right. Uh, oh. Yeah, next uh, yeah, chapter. Yeah, next chapter. Okay. Yeah, let's go. <sighs> August's gone crazy tonight. I've just got off the phone with someone who thinks they saw a UFO on one of the nights that Violet went missing. Aliens would be normal right now. Anyway, now we're here it's time. What do you suggest we do with Ellis Monroe? Hmm. Oh man, I'll protect her house. Send uh, an officer to the house. Tell her to leave town. <laughs> Get out, B. <laughs> um, I don't. Let's see. 
Dude, should we go there and she, do it? She's saying that we're gonna protect her. I feel like I feel like that isn't gonna limit us because they aren't just gonna literally have us sit there until something happens. I mean, but like, send an officer to her house. Let's do that. Then we'll go visit her with the officer there. Okay. Okay. This is a big decision, Jonas. No, wanna... I, I have no, I have no preference. It's just a lot of pressure. It, yeah, dude. Uh, all right, Jonas. We'll just send an officer to the house, then, I guess. I'll send Danny over. Ah! And that means there'll be nobody at the guest house. So be extra vigilant. Be, wait, so he's. What do you mean you're sticking me with Johnny? I knew it, dude. I was supposed to. I knew I was supposed to be the guy. What's wrong with Donnie? I was supposed Donnie to. Donnie be... is basically doing out a scream. <laughs> I'm sitting duck. Isn't there anyone else? Chief, me? Yeah, I'll say me. Yeah. You? Yes, you. Please, will you stay with me? Oh, yeah, yeah, I got you then, baby, if that's what you really want. I'm not good at this. Danny's your best bet. Uh, oof. You wanted to do it. Let's go. I don't. What do you mean? I don't. Chief Dupont is a is the traveler, dude. You think Chief Dupont is the traveler? So what are we like? I don't understand how the game will progress if we're just gonna stay with. We should make her come. Like we can't do any more investigating if we're with her. Do we have to do any more? This is the end of the. It's probably the end. I think this is the big climax. All right. Dude. All right, dude. We're staying. F it. Thank you, Sam. She wants me to stay, dude. Fine. Just give me a gun. I wonder if there's Thanks like Thanks for a, staying with me, Sam. Like I know thing. it's dangerous. I don't know why you're here, but I'm glad you are. You do are. know why. We just guilted us. It's almost 10 o'clock, Sam. When's it going to be over? You said Brahman will call when it's safe. Should, should we call him now? Or are we just supposed to wait? Could you just relax? What the hell? Uh, you're gonna be okay. <laughs> you should hide somewhere. <laughs> I'll hide in the couch. <laughs> Maybe you should hide. I'll be hanging out your house. He's gonna watch oh, TV. Okay, I'll just hide from the murder. All right, uh, you're gonna be okay. I know you're just being good, but that's kind of easy for you to say right now. I think I'm probably gonna have a heart attack before anyone gets a chance to kill me. Why wouldn't you just take her from her house somewhere else? I agree. Or just like have a couple other like officers. Oh, look at her sad face. Oh, no, shut. That's the door. That's the door, Sam. What? What are, what are we gonna do? I don't know, dude. Hide. You're safe. Uh, just stand behind me. Let's hide. All right, hide. Where'd she go? That's how you hide? I shouldn't have kept, I shouldn't have let her out of my sight, dude. That's, She's going to die. That's how you hide? She's going to die, dude. I should have I shouldn't have let her out of it's my sight. It's her own damn fault for hiding in an open door. That is, yeah, that's not good hiding. Dude, she's going to die and it's all our fault. Hide. Dude. Just go into a room with a window and stand with the door open. We should have left her with Danny. What the hell is happening? Where's Ellis? Huh? Sam, where the hell is Ellis? I'm here. I was just hiding. Sorry. Ellis, thank God. I've been outside all the time, okay? Roman Castle just called. She said the danger is over. They've done a new reading. There's it's another Dan victim now. Look, Danny's outside. He's going to take you somewhere safe, okay? It's Danny. Sam, I think you should find out who the next victim's going to be. Then come and see me in my office. So we've defined it's 11 o'clock. I'm Poe, and this do is we do it? update. Police investigating the murder of 21 yeah, years old Mr. Shaw say yeah, they're getting boy. closer to apprehending the killer. The death Woo! of Ms. Shaw, who was found strangled at her home late last night, has sparked a massive police operation and caused job. alarm amongst August residents. <laughs> Monroe has some personal business to attend to, but she sends you all her love and hopes to be back on the air tomorrow. And Monroe, if you can hear me, I'm sending my love out to you too. That's eleven o'clock with Poe. We saved her. 
<laughs> Yay! <laughs> and she's getting married to a married man. All right, next chapter. Oh, wow. Sam, I have some bad news. He's the next We've done one. a group reading, and it's you. I'm the killer? <laughs> yeah, I'm the next target. I don't know, Sam. I, I don't know what to say. It's normally a death sentence, but with you, it might be different. Her eyes are getting weird, dude. Oh, she's been doing mescaline all day. Uh, why Why me? She's just trash it. Yeah, I don't think I should say that. Don't let it win, Sam. You hear me? You fight this. So, I've called Chief Dupont already. He's asked that you meet with him. You should go, Sam. Be careful. We gotta finish talking to all the people. So, they have that thing about the coin. Yeah. He And then it's never come up again, except for that one conversation for one second. Sam, it's almost midnight. You're still alive. This is a good thing. But no one's even attempted to kill you yet. You've given me a lot of evidence. Enough to arrest someone. But who? Make the right decision. And you should be safe if we don't. Well, we've all got to sleep at some point. I can get someone to guard your room at the guest house. But it might not be enough. So, Sam, who should I arrest? <gasps> oh! oh <laughs> Star Wars Squadron is ready to start. <laughs> it's on game. I don't. Pass. I don't want to get a hint. Let's trash it. Trash the hint. Yeah, we don't want his hint. Okay. Oh, look, they put him right there. <laughs> Rain, Poe, Ellis, Bronwyn, no, Lexi, no. Chief Dupont, and Saint. We think we're the killer. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't think it's us. All right. Do you want to go with the obvious, or do you want to go with Violet? Honestly, if he arrests me and put me in jail, I would be safe there, at least. At least I wouldn't die if I was in jail. Yeah. This is kind of interesting, though. Like, I could just arrest uh, Ellis and die. Uh, okay, Jonas, who do, you, who do you think it is between these two? <clears throat> I want you to vote for whoever you think it is, and then we're going to let the coin flip decide. If if there's differentials. Cause. I, I want to say I think it's Violet only because I think Zach's too obvious. Okay. What do you? Who do you think it is? I think it's Violet. All right, let's just go with Violet. All let's right. Just, if we, since we match, let's just go with it, dude. All right. You're a creep, Zach. You're not a nice guy, but I think they were setting you up. Yeah. I, I feel like it, too. And, and you know what? Violet is a little weird. Fine. So are you sure? Fine. Okay, I trust you, Sam. I oh, just and... hope you know what you're doing. I'll get the paperwork drawn up. We'll get Violet in. See if we can't get a confession to something. I wonder if it's going to show us like a whole scenario of like what really happened. Yeah, I know. I want to see something. Oh... Oh, no, come on. All right. Fingers crossed, don't be Zach. <laughs> I'm sorry, sorry. That was in bad taste. <laughs> um, Bronwyn asked me to check that you're okay, and you seem to be. Well done, catching a killer, by the way. Well, hopefully you did. <laughs> Scream if you need me. Scream if you need me. It's one o'clock in the morning, and this is Poe with your August update. We, we don't normally have them at this what time, but think? since there's a killer on the loose, I feel it's my duty to keep the radio station manned. I personally spoke with Chief Dupont earlier, and he thinks they're close to catching the killer. Until that happens, though, please lock your doors and stay inside. Oh. Remain vigilant. The light has faded. And so has my fortitude. I see things in shadows, behind doors, and under desks. Wow, it got dark. I hear the chattering of teeth and the glee of insects waiting to what? feed on me. The studio undulates like a heart that beats its last beats. What is happening? I can't go on. I must to bed. What? Forgive me, Lady August. Forgive me. Jesus. What the hell was that all about? Yeah. That was a lot. 
Yeah. Okay, next chapter, I guess. It's you. All tied up in my photography studio. No, Sounds no. like we're going to have a great session. It is him. <laughs> I must say, you're a bit of an idiot for not getting Chief to point to arrest me, but fortunately, choices matter. No! Now I have you in my studio. And no, before you ask, Violet doesn't know. She's far too sweet for all this killing. Zach, no! So it really was? It was that obvious? Zach! What? Come on! Dude, there, there's no black serial killers. They don't exist. Why did you want to kill those Oh, men? Sammy, you want the whole foot-long explanation. There's no time for that. Those women are sluts. Wow. The rotter with her naked legs wrapped around the cello. We all know what that shorthand for. Preening and makeup. Practically begging me to have sex with them. And then when the offer comes, their legs close together like oysters. They're all whores, Sam. What? We're just haggling over the oh price. God. Oh my. So he's a nice guy. He's, he's a nice guy. I'm you wanted nice to guy. kill them because they shunned you. Oh, he, oh, he's an incel. Yeah, yeah. Look, just that. That's the reason the police would go off. Don't know. Those pictures I took of them. I saw things in them you shouldn't see. Flashes of death and gluttony. Hideously grotesque things. Flashes of death. Those photos told me to kill them. Oh. Well, yeah, I wouldn't kill any old whores. I'm not Jack the Ripper. I'm going to kill you, though. Oh, okay. Well, uh, change into Zack, change into Violet. Whoa. Wait. Which one? I mean, does it really matter? Why do we get to change into somebody? I don't know. Do we Let's actually... change into him. I agree. How can it be? How are you me? <laughs> How many... <laughs> he already saw us change once. He passed out. <laughs> we saved ourselves. <laughs> okay, I think I've got all that. You yeah, we, managed we to get free, and then you tied Zach up before calling us. What I want to know is what made him pass out. That bit doesn't sound very likely. I'm almost certain there's something you're not telling me, Sam. I guess that's how you weave your magic. Get some rest. Swing by tomorrow. Oh. Well done, Sam. You got Yay. the guy. We Same cheated. Same time round at least. <laughs> at least they gave us a second chance. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I wonder, like... Did we do it? I love that, that ceiling shot. That was great. Thank you. Hello, sleepyhead. I'm so I glad to see you alive. Win. Aww. Uh, did I win? <laughs> hey, look, it's Jonas. <laughs> did you win? Oh, what about the next yeah, let's victim? Go yeah, that one. There is no next victim. Zach is still locked up. He's being charged for murder. Sweet. Travelers don't like being incarcerated, so they'll have jumped realities already. It's not something that a jury will believe. The shell they've left behind will remember what they've done and spend a life in prison. All Damn. we can do oh, is wow. try and stop the next one. Yo, that's kind of Sam, up. Right. come with us, please. We could really use someone like you and, well, just, will you? Well, we want to love Lexi anyway. Yeah, dude, yeah, let's roll out. That's right. Really? Yeah, oh, that's... Sam, that's wonderful. Let's finish packing and we can leave this afternoon. Right. Sam, thank you. We're going to change lives, believe me. Hey, sweet cheeks. You did good, real good. You win. Alexi hug. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Sam. I don't want to go on our date. I'm just going to say it because you only live once and all that. Sam, I think I've fallen for you. That's oh, it. Wow. That's all I wanted to say. It's out there now. We can get on with our lives. 
Uh, that, all we can say is that's a nice thing to that's say. A, that's a nice thing to say. I see. Nice thing. We already told well, everyone to go on a date. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Heart wants what it wants. Perhaps you should go for a while so I can have a little cry. I'll be okay though. I didn't have another. I didn't have anything else to say. Sam, you're safe. Thank Christ. I already asked her on a date. Um, sorry. I don't know where that came from. Don't hug me, dude. Uh, kiss him? <laughs> we can... Jonas? Go for Are we going to try to kiss him? Dude, we're going to leave with him, shun Lexi, and then date her friend who's lying about who he really is. <laughs> I don't know if I want to kiss him, Joe. I feel a way like you're gonna have to press the button. No, I'm good. Let's just, <laughs> let's just to tell him. Let's just say everyone's emotional. Yeah. Today. You made out yeah. with the other dude. I know. There's been a lot of death going around. All right. Uh, so this is it. Look, however this pans out, I just want to say thank you. Chief Dupont was gonna screw everything, but you kept it all together. The right was stopped. But there's tens, if not hundreds, going on all the time, so so we got to keep going. I don't know if Bron asked in the end, but I hope you're coming with us. I really do. Aww. Well, I didn't realize we were getting romantically involved. I didn't think you'd leave without saying goodbye. Wait, Ellie. People do horrible things to people every day. I'm just glad that someone like you are around to save us. I mean, everyone needs a little saving from time to time. Oh. Even me. Happy to save you anytime. Yeah, let's do that one. Happy to save you anytime, girl. Sam, you already did. That's I why I'm here talking to you. And I won't forget it. Heroes don't always get on the news, but they always burn bright in the hearts of the people they save. You have an impact, Sam. Everyone does. They just forget. Keep saving people for me, you hear? Bye, Sam. Bye. Dude, I, you know what? I think you might be right. There might be more interactions if we... Sam, you did good. Any. I thought you would. I mean, not that I've got a signed confession or anything. Yet. She probably would have died. Apparently, they don't remember anything about the murders, but Bronwyn seems pretty convinced it's over. Well done. I hear you're leaving town with the tarot readers. That's a real big shame you were starting to fit in here. But, good luck to you. You're doing what many of us have died trying. Leaving August. Thanks, Chief. Thanks, Chief. And I've stuck to my word. That problem you had... I buried it. What problem? The coroner's report is going to say the woman was dead when you arrived, not after. I don't personally believe in exorcism or anything like that, but over the last 24 hours, I'm starting to think things aren't as cut and dried as I'd like them to be. What? You're a good person, Sam. At least that's definitely how it looks from the outside. What woman are we talking about? Yeah, I don't know what the hell he's talking about at all. I don't remember this. Oh, I, hey, we, we won! Woo! Da, 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 da. I am Dorota. I am 21 years old. Yes, you um, are. I love playing cello, and i just been awarded a scholarship to Juilliard. <laughs> I just love cello. Just gonna show I love all back. string instruments, but cello is rich and deep and uh, soothing, at least to me. Oh, no, goodness. cello is my hobby, but my real passion is, <laughs> it's silly, it no, sounds silly. Modeling. Well, Tell me. I would like to build a time machine. <laughs> I know, I know. Okay. But it's... it is possible. No. I think it's not. people make mistakes. They do things they regret and uh -huh. they say things they don't mean. I want implants. to go back in time. Is it, is it I want to make better choices. What are you hell? You know why you're here, don't you? No? I don't know why I'm here. What what happened? Because you did well. Oh. 
So and do you know what happens when you do well? No, what happens? It's a rhetorical question. I know. Augmentation. What does that mean? Congratulations, Agent 3.13. Welcome to 3.14. Yo! We got a promotion! Maybe. <laughs> Alright, fair enough. Enter. Oh, wow. Enter secret debriefing. Oh, Hashtag okay. winning. What's that? Agent X augmented you. Hell yeah, dude. All right. All right. Let's, let's, yeah, let's see what's Debriefing 3204, Birmingham. Transmit. And we're ready. All right, let's see. Are you human? Uh, yes. Debrief complete. Agent ready. You can go. What? That was the secret debriefing? You just asked me if I'm a human and then told me to leave? Yeah, that's... All right, fair enough. Exit game. <laughs> what the hell was... That? that was the most worthless... Oh, notice, you can now skip previously viewed scenes so we can, like, do... We can do a different way if we ever wanted to. Oh, okay, sweet. All right, all right. crazy towns folk. That's the that end. is all the time we have for the shape-shifting detective... Please make sure to like and subscribe if you've done that. Hit that notification bell. Anything you want to add before we go? I what do you give it? Oh, uh, take out it being of not a video game. Like as far as FMVs go, give it. It can get a ten if it's the perfect FMV. I'll, I'm gonna give it a a six point eight. That's about where I'm at. In FMV games or just in general? In general. As a, as a video game, 6.8. I, I think that's actually pretty close. Yeah, I'm up there. Like, it's, yeah, like, I think out uh, of uh, the SM, S, uh, FMV games we've done, it's the best one. Yes, yes. For sure. Yes. So, but uh, but anyways, for Jonas. And TNT. Oh, uh, we'll catch you on the next one. We uh, are Rude. out.